Good morning, team. Happy Friday for me. And from, where is he? There's the boy. Now with a very big stick. Now, that Friday feeling, right? Something that I, uh, something that I see from time to time on posts. And it always, it's always a curious one as well. Because normally for me, by Friday, I'm flipping shattered. All right? So I'm absolutely ready for the weekend. Which is ironic, because the weekend... I kind of do some stuff anyway, so it's not like it's a completely switch off on the weekend. Um, switching off, right? What's that? Anyway, Friday feeling. This is a good insight because your energy levels can be down. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people, they might have, yeah, like Friday is their best day of the week if you have one. Uh, not me. So if you're on the same page, again, let's have a quick conversation about that. Uh, well, Nelson's got his <laughs> stick. <laughs> oh, I guess it's, uh, anyway. Right, so, energy levels can be down. Mood can be a little bit lower, which is, you know, neither here nor there. You know, managing that is just, that's life, right? That is what it is. But something else, which links into this, this, this feeling, because we are creatures of habit by definition. Like my body and my brain knows when it's a Sunday, for example. Um, and I guess I was listening to my Audible book before. And uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of zone into this while I just touch on this. Because I think, it's, I think it's insightful. I was listening to my Audible book before. And I was, I was playing it back, right? I was... 30 seconds, 30 seconds, listen, listen to the same thing. About four or five times, I was like, kind of not going in, you know, kind of not going in. And that can happen when our energy levels are low. Uh, just another a dog, uh, just keeping an eye on things. Uh, when our energy levels are low, when um, our stress levels are up, and when we're fatigued, like, for example, on a Friday. Now, that's going to have a huge influence on our fitness motivation, you might say, on our day-to-day -day habits. And it's going to help us to, um, it's not going to help us, actually. It's going to mean that we're more tempted to think, oh, you know, it's Fat Friday. Let's, let's be a total douchebag. That, that sort of jazz. And then before you know it, you're like, right, Monday, I'm back on it, blah, blah, blah. And not to suggest that you can and shouldn't um, consume more food on the weekend. I do. It's not the midweek. It's it's uh, it's a weekend, right? I like variety. I like consistency, but I like variety. So it's definitely a good consideration when we look at again fatigue, again stress levels, again energy, hunger, mood, how they all track. And then how that influences the long-term results that we do or don't get. Uh, full disclosure, on a Friday, I take my foot off the gas. I ease up because I, I'm kind of aware of this stuff in the sense that I'm like, you know what? It's not my best um, time to be creative, time to uh, be productive. So what do I do? Well, I'm I manage it, I slow down, and, you know, I get the result uh, in health, in life, and business, and um, it makes you feel good as well. It's no good if you're, you know, you're beating yourself over the head, telling yourself a story that you should be, you know, top of the game all the time. Um, th that can work in the short and medium term, but, but not the long term. And again, you know me, uh, I'm all about long term. Success and sustainability. Speak to you uh, Monday. Take care.